Hi again, Cam here. That's a beautiful sound and out of tune guitar. So how do we fix that? Pitch pipe, give yourself where you think that top E should be or cheat like me and play it on the piano. There's our reference and I'm still slightly flat I think. It's always a decision process between is it flat or sharp, so always give yourself plenty of time to figure that out. Second thing I always do by ear is go to the harmonic on the lowest string, hit the reference tone first, you hear it go wah 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 wah, and when that, wah, when that slows down and disappears, um, you should be in tune. getting close. So those are the outside two strings and then we try and fill in the gaps. Second thing I do is go to the harmonic on the seventh fret of the A string. Once again compare that with the open E. Bring it up. If it starts off sharp bring it all the way down and then go up to it so you keep your tension on the string. There's a bunch of different ways of doing this, it's just the way that I do it. I've taken it too far sharp, so start again. Go down, stretch it, always stretch them, especially when they're new. Uh, I like to stretch them there, and um, if you've got a bridge, you can stretch them at the back too. I'll check here. Close enough for now. Those two are working. See that beating slowing down. The other thing of course is if you hit a string harder it's probably going to vibrate like a little sharp for a second so often it's a compromise especially on the G string you'll find that out. We'll assume that's all right. Now we'll Look for another tuning note, which is the 5th fret harmonic on the A string and the 7th fret on the D string. And once again, so just check that open string, uh, sorry, the 7th fret, I'm still happy enough with that, A string, 5th fret harmonic, and D string, 7th string harmonic. I may be pulling that sharp. I think I am pulling it sharp. I'll... Patience is key to everything. Such a small adjustment. Um, okay, uh, what I do when I get there normally is I go back to um, that string and I get that B string. And I know it's going to be somewhere around there. Play the note on the fifth fret of the B string. So open string, B string, could be a little sharp. similar and I like to get used to those two. It's an interval technically of a, um, a fourth. Don't worry about that for now. And we've got five strings close enough. This G string I like to hear that as an E minor triad. Here's your root, your Fifth of E. Um, don't worry about the <coughs> names of these so much, it's just that sound. You get a memory for that sound. And
intervals, we call them intervals that are distances between notes. So this is the G string, and it's the sound of a major third, which is what that is, you'll get used to it after a while. I'm, I'm picking that, that B string's probably a little sharp, so I've brought that down. Oh, the G's a bit flat, yeah? After a while, it's just memory. You get to know what an in-tune guitar sounds like. So I can play an E minor chord. I'm kind of in the ballpark. How's E major? Sometimes, especially on the G string, when you press too hard, um, so I'm playing the first bit of a D chord, if I press that too hard, it'll actually go sharp, so try to keep your pressure even. So we're trying to make our open chords all sound good. I'm going really slowly. Picking that D is still a little flat. E major. The next one that's normally, we'll try G. The D string's just sitting flat, isn't it? Not bad, let's try C. D. So it's always some sort of a compromise. Uh, any questions, post, ask me. That's all for today. See ya.